What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about watches. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a budget-friendly, minimal watch collection. And specifically what I mean is, I'm gonna show you a watch collection that consists of just three watches and costs less than $500 total to build. Now, I know that some of you might be thinking, $500, you know, I would never spend that much on watches or I don't have that much money. Uh, and others might be thinking, you know, I spend $5,000 on watches or more than that. And that's the crazy thing about watches is it's so subjective and there's so many options. You know, a lot of guys uh, don't either have the money to spend on watches or just don't care to spend their money on expensive watches. And then there's a group of guys who, uh, you know, enjoys collecting luxury watches. And, you know, for them, spending a few hundred or a few thousand dollars or even more on a watch is not a big deal. I think most guys, myself included, fall somewhere in the middle. You know, we want a watch collection that's versatile enough to get us through any occasion, any dress code, and we don't want to break the bank building that collection. And that's what this video is going to help with. So I'm going to show you the three watches that you can have in your collection that will have you covered for any occasion and that you don't have to spend all of your hard-earned cash acquiring. So the three watches we're gonna talk about are the casual watch, the dive watch, and the dress watch. Let's start with the casual watch. Okay, starting with the casual watch, I have here the Timex Weekender. And this is just a classic casual watch, super popular. Uh, partly because it's very affordable and it's also available in a bunch of different, you know, colors and, and sizes and with a lot of different types of straps. You can find these weekenders on Amazon or on Timex.com uh, or a bunch of other websites for like $30 uh, and they're always on sale. The other great thing about the weekenders is uh, they have interchangeable straps. So, you know, this one has a leather band. You could also, uh, you know, swap this out for like a nylon strap, you know, in pretty much whatever color you want. So it's super versatile, um, you get a lot of bang for your buck, and it's just very affordable. Um, now the casual watch is obviously good for casual outfits. Uh, you could wear this with anything from, you know, shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, you could wear this out, you know, hiking, uh, doing yard work. You could wear it um, to the office in a casual or even a business casual setting. So it's, it's a very versatile watch. Um, you wouldn't want to wear a watch that's this casual with like a formal outfit like a suit because it would look kind of out of place. So if you don't have a casual watch in your collection, I think the Weekender is a great choice. Um, it's super affordable, there's a lot of different options, and you can just buy yourself some extra straps and then swap it out and you pretty much have a brand new watch. Okay, watch number two is the Dive Watch or the Diver. And I'm actually wearing mine right now. Uh, this is the Seiko uh, SKX-013. Uh, I'd say it's like an entry-level diver. Um, you can find cheaper dive watches, uh, but you know, Seiko is uh, a very old brand, very trustworthy. Um, you know, if Rolex is like the Mercedes S-Class, Seiko is like the Toyota Camry, you know? The SKX-013 will run somewhere between two and three hundred dollars. I got mine for about $215 on sale on Amazon, and uh, of course I'll link down below in the description to that. The 013, as opposed to the SKX007, is just slightly smaller, so it's about a 38-39 millimeter case diameter, which is perfect for uh, my wrists, which are about six and a half inches around. Um, since this is a diver, it's uh, waterproof down to like 200 meters. It's got the rotating bezel, Nice. And of course, divers can use this to time how long they've been underwater, or you can use it to time anything you want, really. Uh, it's got the glow-in-the-dark hands and tick marks, and then the day-date complication, which means you can look at the face of this watch and you can tell what day of the week it is and what date of the month it is. So the dive watch is uh, not as casual as the casual watch, like the Weekender, but it's not as dressy as the dress watch. It's like the perfect middle ground of watches. In fact, if I could only choose one watch to wear for the rest of my life, it'd probably be a diver. Now, the one time that I definitely wouldn't wear a diver is with a suit, okay? It's not a dress watch. 
Um, yeah, you can pull it off, a lot of guys do it, but when you're wearing a suit, it's really more appropriate to wear a true dress watch, which is what we'll talk about next. Okay, and watch number three is the dress watch. Uh, this particular one is from the fifth. Uh, it's from their New York Classic Collection, and it's called the Tribeca. So it's got the brown leather strap, white face, and the gold metal details. Um, this is a great dress watch because it's super minimal, which is something that I look for in a dress watch. Um, it does have interchangeable straps, although I'm a fan of the gold, metal, and brown leather. It goes with my belts and shoes and other accessories that I like to wear. Um, you know, if you wear charcoal suits uh, and you know black shoes, then it might be a better choice for you to go with uh, you know a black leather strap and uh, silver metal. Um, but you know the choice is yours as long as it meets the other criteria of a dress watch. The one thing that you want to look out for when you're buying a dress watch is you want to make sure that regardless of the size of the case, of the diameter of the case, you want to make sure that the, the actual thickness of the case is appropriate. So you want a thin case because when you wear it, you're probably going to have like a dress shirt and a suit jacket or a blazer, and you want the watch to fit underneath your cuff. Okay, so you don't want it to prevent you from buttoning your shirt sleeve. If the watch does prevent you from buttoning your cuff, you can just leave your cuff unbuttoned to create some extra room for your watch. And especially if you're wearing like a jacket, it's not a big deal, no one's gonna notice. And that way your shirt, your sleeve, will just slip over your watch easily. For example, when you extend your hand or something like that. But given the choice, you should try to find a dress watch that has a thin case uh, so it fits nicely under your dress shirts and your suit jackets. This watch will run you about $150 and uh, you know you can definitely find much more expensive dress watches, you can find cheaper dress watches, but uh, I think this is a great value for what you're getting and you know I'm a big fan of the brand. So, um, so watch number three, the dress watch. Okay, so that is the minimal three watch collection. So we have the Weekender, which is $30, the uh, SKX-013, which is, uh, say, $300, not on sale, and then you have the Tribeca, which is $150. So we actually have some money left over. Now, if you do have a little bit extra money, I would recommend one of two things. Uh, one thing you can do is add a fourth watch to your collection. And if you do that, I would try to find something that's totally different than the other three. So for example, uh, this watch, this is also from the fifth, it's called the Brooklyn. It's black on black, um, and it's totally different than those other three. And if I wear an outfit that's like monochromatic, for example, like you know black jeans, gray shirt, uh, black shoes, I'm gonna choose this watch because it's gonna go with that color palette uh, a lot better than those other watches. So try to get a fourth watch that's totally different than those other three so it actually fills a gap, you know, fills a need. It's not just another version of one of those watches. The other thing you can do is get uh, some straps. So you can get some extra straps for your casual watch. Um, and, you know, again, on Amazon or a bunch of other websites, you can basically buy uh, individual straps or packs of them for like, you know, 25 bucks will get you like four straps. And then you can just swap them out. So for example, if you get one Timex Weekender for $30, and then spend another $30 on a package of straps, it's really like you have four or five watches for 60 bucks. So that's another good strategy if you don't have a ton of money, but you wanna get more use out of your existing watch collection, just buy a bunch of extra straps. So I hope this video helps you build your watch collection no matter what kind of budget you're on. And if you have any questions about watches, of course, leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos where I show you my collections, uh, give me a quick thumbs up and I'll make more of them. And until next time, stay stylish. It's nice. It's smooth. Actually started out a little tight, but then I've been just rotating it a lot. Uh, and it's really smoothed out quite nicely.